resolution number 120 being approval of a business associate agreement between GLSD and the Adelphi Village Incorporated and number 121 approval of a contractual agreement between GLSD and Presley Ridge. So moved on those three resolutions. Second. It's been moved and seconded. We adopt resolutions number 119, 120, and 121. Any discussion or questions? <coughs> How many years have we been dealing with Preston Ridge? Um, six, as far as I can say. And what sort of special education? Um, this is a student, this is for a student who's in elementary school and receives emotional <coughs> support. Yeah. I'm sorry, I didn't hear that. He's a student in elementary school receiving emotional support services. Is that an adjudicated service or is that? No, it's yeah. a special education special service. Education. Is it Delphi? Is that adjudicated services? No, that those are special education special services. Education. Mm -hmm. Any other questions or comments? Are these students that are in our school district? They're in our district that are, are not appropriate for our schools.
items uh, listed on the agenda? Second. It's been moved and seconded that we adopt resolution number 127. Any questions, discussion, or comment? Yes, once again, in line with the report that we had last week from Mrs. Bolden regarding um, all of the grants, but these are included in that, shows once again how community partnerships and, and uh, businesses and individuals within the community are able to help us and improve our um, situation without having the taxpayers have to step up. Yeah, and these kind of grants greatly enhance the, the, the experience of our students, and we're so grateful for that, uh, these initiatives, because, um, you know, it, it just means the world to a lot of students who wouldn't have the opportunity for many of the things that they get to experience. Any other comments? All those in favor, then, please say aye. 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 Anyone opposed? Those pass unanimously. <coughs> Finance Committee meeting will be on the first Wednesday of February 5th at 10 a.m. at the admin building. Thank you. Thank you, Mrs. Elder. Mrs. Tozar, Property and Supply. Thank you. I move for the adoption of resolution number 128, permission to advertise for weight room equipment and, um, for the athletic wellness project and also capital projects as listed. Second. Thank you. It's been moved and seconded. We adopt resolution number 128. Any discussion on that motion? All those in favor, then please say aye. 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 Anyone opposed? Passes unanimously. And our next property and supply meeting is at 3 30 from Thursday, February 6th at 8 p.m. Thank you, Mrs. Thank you. Student activities and recreation, Dr. Laughlin. We have the senior nights as listed, with the next one being girls basketball this Thursday. Thank you. Community relations, Dr. Zorch. Tonight we're going to appoint Mrs. Mays back to the uh, the Community Parks Recreation Commission board. It's motion number one twenty nine is so moved to get your drop back. <clears throat> Thank you. It's been moved and seconded. We adopt resolution number 129. Any discussion on the motion? All those in favor, then please say aye. Aye. Anyone opposed? And that passes unanimously. I guess I should probably stay saying that, right? <laughs> <laughs> you mean no, you don't have to work? Yes, you should have stayed. Could you mark me for an abstention, please? Anything Thank you else? for stepping up to the plate. <laughs> <laughs> Anything else, Dr. Zork? That's it. Thank you so much. Uh, the Westmoreland Intermediate Liaison, uh, I will move for adoption of resolution number 130 to authorize participation in the Westmoreland Intermediate Unit Joint Purchasing Consortium for diesel fuel gasoline for the 2014-15 school year. Second. So moved. Okay, it's so moved and seconded. We adopt resolution number 130. Any questions or discussion on the motion? All those in favor, then please say aye. 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 Anyone opposed? And that completes my report on the WIU. And we'll go to Mrs. Kozar again for EWCTC. But no report. Thank you, Mrs. Kozar. Board policy, PSBA liaison, Mrs. Elder. Yes, I move for adoption of resolution number 131. The final adoption of revisions to board policies number 222 for pupils and number 323 for employees both regarding tobacco use. Second. Thank you. It's been moved and seconded. We adopt resolution number 131. Questions, discussion, comments? <coughs> All those in favor, then please <coughs> say aye. 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 Anyone opposed? <coughs> Transportation, um, Mr. Music. But our next meeting is going to be Wednesday, uh, January 29th at 3:30 at the Senior High School. And Mr. Mears would like to make a couple comments about uh, how the district's dealing with the cold weather, trying to be experiencing. 
superintendent and board members. What we would like to, to do is assure people we are going to try to get your kids to, to school daily even when it's cold. And I will be in contact with the bus companies at 5.30 in the morning to make sure all the vehicles are warm and running. And uh, hopefully we can go to school more on time each day. And then, of course, if there's days where we're struggling with any vehicles or anything, we would certainly post a, a delay. But um, it's a long winter. We're running in January, and we need to try to get focused on how to get the kids to school. And I think that's the safest route to take. Thank you, Mr. Mayors. Any other comments? Mm -hmm. Mr. Mayors, do you still get out and drive the roads? Get my coffee at 3 and on the roads at 3.30. Pretty lonely out there. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't run into anybody. Else. <laughs> really, really, that has to be part of the cold temperature, too. I mean, like a day like today with all the snow we got, and you can put salt in the roads, I'm sure some of these rich roads are going to be terrible. I mean, that's got to be part of the city, too. Yeah. Yeah. The worst roads are the state. <laughs> 982 is awful. All bad. 30 and Latrobe were fine, or New D Township and Latrobe were fine. That's so any of those kids living up off the ridge, it was ugly. I think once the roads are clear, I don't care how cold it is, yeah. you get the buses going. Right. You know, we're not, I mean, basically, this is a. Uh, we live here. We should know how to drive. We're used to the cold. I mean, yeah. I'm telling you, one of my colleagues, daughter, works in uh, Great Falls, Montana, and they haven't missed a day of school in 45 years. I think it's 30, 40 below zero. They don't even bother if he's out there. I mean, here, this, this area is different. I mean, they're throwing salt on the road. You turn one of these roads into a sheet of ice. Yeah. You take a bus up there and run it off the side of the hill, and we got a disaster. So, I mean, clearly that's an issue that has to be considered, which I'm sure is part of our decision making process when it gets that cold. Tomorrow's going to be a worse situation yeah, than that, exactly. obviously, because of all the problems we have with the snow and salt and all that. But, yeah. I mean, if you've got a clear day and it's 30 above, well, I don't care. I mean, always let their kids stand out there and freeze. My, my kids don't go to school anymore, but when it got cold and crappy, everybody was sitting in the car with their kids, waiting for the bus. And, and the bottom line is it doesn't get much warmer from mm -hmm. 7 a.m. to 9. Yeah, you know, if the roads are bare and it's not precipitating, it's just cold, and the buses are all warm and running, we're going to try to get it. One, one thing is to to walk two miles to the bus. No, that happen. We changed that a number of years ago. We got most of the kids picked up. Okay, any other comments? Safety of the students is always a priority, but if we can get them here, that's the best thing to do. So, anything else, Mr. Music? No, Thank you so much for your presentation. Technology, Mr. Palmer. Thank you. Um, uh, the, the meeting minutes from our last meeting are, are, meeting are attached to your um, um, agenda. But a note is uh, Mr. Watson, Mr. Watson, Mr. Simon, and the rest of the committee are putting together a 2014 2015 budget. And if you take a look, you can, you can see on the committee minutes uh, what we're plan contemplating for the 2014 2015 year going forward. And the next meeting is. Uh, February 11th, um, here at 6 p.m. Thank you, Madam President. Thank you, Mr. Palmer. Superintendent's recommendations, Mrs. Swigert. I'd ask the board to approve resolution number 132, which is to accept the resignations of Brandy Shine, a classroom assistant, and Julie Bassoni, a junior high school classroom assistant. So moved. Second. It's been moved and seconded. We adopt <coughs> resolution number 132. Any questions or discussion? All those in favor, then please say aye. 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 Anyone opposed? And that passes unanimously. I'd ask the board to move on resolution number 133, which is the support personnel appointments that are listed. Um, 132. Excuse me. Did I say 130? It's 133. It's 133. Thank you. Thank you. Is there a second? We moved and second and we adopt resolution number 133. Any questions or discussion? All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Anyone opposed? That passes unanimously. And last is resolution number 134, which is the professional personnel appointment substitute teachers. So moved. Second. <coughs> Did you second, Mrs. Yes. Yes, thank you. Okay, um, it's been moved and seconded that we adopt resolution number 134. Any questions or discussion on the motion? All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Anyone opposed? And that passes unanimously also. The other um, business information for the meeting for February are listed. Um, but before we conclude the meeting, I would like
school board members who are here this evening and serve um, our students in Rio de Pro, um, on a monthly basis, and some for many, many years, and some more recent. Uh, this is School Board Recognition Month, as noted by the Pennsylvania School Boards Association. And um, all of you are aware very um, much that are sitting here that your job here is totally voluntary. And it is a lot of time and energy. And I know all of the good work that you do. And hopefully the community knows as well. These positions are not easy. There are often very, very difficult decisions to be made. And one of the things that I am so proud of is that all of you make them in the best interests of the students of Greater Latrobe. And that is an accomplishment, um, I believe. So I would like to personally thank you for your service uh, to the students here at Greater Latrobe. But also, hopefully, uh, the newspapers recognize that this is School Board Recognition Month as well. And so dutifully note it um, in the articles moving forward tomorrow and the rest of the week. So thank you very much for your service. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Nice words. Um, it's now time for hearing a visitor's part two. If anyone in the audience is only as wishes to address the board on any issue, please come to the podium and state your name and address. Seeing none, I'll entertain a motion to adjourn.